Hello friends, it's Miss Jackie, and today I am going to show you how to make a fun and easy dinosaur craft. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the supplies we are going to need today are scissors. We're going to need a pencil. If you are using paint, you're going to need paint brushes and paint. And the last thing that we're going to need is a paper towel or toilet paper tube. All right, so the dinosaur we are going to be making today is a Brachiosaurus. Now, a Brachiosaurus looks a little bit like a Brontosaurus, which is usually the dinosaur you're going to see most places. Brontosauruses have long tails and their heads go out like this, unlike a Brachiosaurus whose neck goes up and it arches and they have a little head up here. Another difference is that Brachiosaurus, they have small back legs and they have long front legs. Now, Brachiosaurus in Greek means arm lizard, which is kind of a funny little name to give these kind of dinosaurs. So it's a little bit different than the long necks you normally see, but it's just as cool. So let's go ahead and make one of these. So we're going to set that up there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our cardboard tube and we're going to push it down. We're going to push it down like this because we're going to want to draw on here. So you're going to take your pencil and we're going to draw so that this side and this side are up and down like that. We don't want to cut it like this or it's going to ruin our dinosaur. So if we look at our Brachiosaurus, let's go ahead and turn it over so we can see how we're going to do it. He has a head that goes up like this. It's going to come down. We're going to draw his long neck. And then we're gonna draw this. Now for his tail, we're going to go up like this. And remember, his tail is a little bit shorter, so we're just gonna cut it off right there. All right, so now, if you can see, we have the body of the dinosaur, but the last thing we need are its legs, and it has four legs. So we're gonna draw a little half square there. We're gonna draw one here in the middle and then we're gonna do one on the back, and that is it. So if you can see, that is what it's gonna look like. So let us go ahead and cut it out. I'll start with the head up here. We'll cut across, and then we'll do our tail. All right, so we won't need that anymore. Now, one thing, remember I said they have long front legs, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this part actually a little smaller. And it's okay if you can still see the pencil. Remember, we're gonna color over that, so that will be erased. All right, so there's that, whoops. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut this here because they have four legs. It's very important that you give them four. All right, and then we're gonna cut the back right here. All right. And that is all the cutting we have to do. So now we have this, right? So we're just gonna puff it up again. Puff it up like this. And look at my head's a little wonky there, isn't it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold it again. Some of this is trial and error. Wow, it is just going crazy, isn't it? So I'm gonna cut a little bit closer. And I'm gonna fix his head a little bit because I don't want it to be like a half heart. So let's cut it like this. Luckily, you can keep trying until you get it right, and there's always cardboard tubes around. All right, so now let's pluff it up again. And this is gonna be its head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this part down like this. I'm gonna fold down its tail, and we already have a dinosaur just like that. Look, look how easy that was. All we did was cut it. So what we're gonna do now, is because I'd like my dinosaur to have a little bit of color. So I have my paint here. You can use any color you like because it is your dinosaur. I went ahead with blue because blue is my favorite color. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my dinosaur that one. So let's go ahead and paint. I'm gonna start with its face. Now you could paint the inside or the outside. You can paint whatever you like, but let's go ahead and paint our dinosaur.
All right, so now the dinosaur is all painted. Now, if when you're painting, whoops, you get paint on your hands, that's all right. Luckily, we can just wash paint off. Just be careful with that, with whatever type of paint you are using. I'm using acrylic paints, but if you were to use oil paints, it's gonna take a lot longer for your dinosaur to dry. So use something that's gonna work best for you. All right, so he's all painted blue, but he's not quite finished because dinosaurs need eyes, mouths, and then we're gonna give him some toenails like this. So as you can see here, he's got two eyes and a smile. And then I'm gonna use the white paint just to do a couple dots on the side to give him little toenails. All right, so let's get started with our black. It's gonna be easy peasy. We're just gonna do one dot, two dot. And I'm gonna go ahead and give mine a smile because mine's gonna be a happy dinosaur today. All right, so then you can either get a new paintbrush or just wipe the one you have off. We're going to turn it on its side and use the white. This is just as easy. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, and I'll go ahead and do four on that one because he's got a big foot back there. Do three on that side. Oops, one, let's get a little bit more paint. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that is it. That is all you have to do to make your dinosaur. All right, and that is how we can take something as simple as a cardboard tube and turn it into something as cool as a dinosaur. You could make other dinosaurs this way, like Triceratops or T-Rexes or Pterodactyls. It's just gonna come down to the creativity on how you cut your cardboard tube. Check out the library for great dinosaur books. We have so many that are gonna inspire you to make your own cardboard dinosaur. When you're finished with your project, please tag us. We would love to see what you made. You can tag us on Instagram at SSJCPL or on Facebook at Stockton San Joaquin County Public Libraries, or you can just post your pictures in the comments here. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have an amazingly fantastic day. Bye.